So my dad and my dad's dad and on and on, they always were at a club in Melbourne, Footscray, and uh, they just, I've always just been around rugby ever since I was little. Every weekend, every training night, always down there, mum and dad, that's how they met. Um, so we've always just been down there and watching it. I never played it when I was younger. I always picked other sports just because I was around it so much. But I think after high school, I got offered the opportunity to go and play sevens in Darwin. And ever since then, it's just opportunities have just, yeah, come at me and I've taken everyone just here now. No, I didn't really dream of playing rugby when I was little. I don't think it was big enough to kind of, or the growth in it was enough. But uh, I was lucky enough to go through the phase of it was just starting to come through and the growth of it over the last couple of years has just been huge. I, yeah, and I just, like I said, I took every opportunity and I've just gotten here now. I still don't believe it sometimes, but uh, no, it's here and it's happening, so it's a great feeling. Here comes the first try to hand scores for Australia. Yeah, it was a huge decision. Um, we're all, I'm always so family based. I have all my family down in Melbourne and they're always so supportive. Um, so it was a big move, but the girls that I, um, I play with Sunnybank and Queensland girls and they're all really supportive and they're always, you know, got me if I'm like down or I need someone to talk to. Mum and dad and my sister, they are nearly every game that I travel to or every big game that I have, they're always there anyway. So I, um, I get to see them quite a bit. Sammy Traherne. Put some life back into this contest. I think it was the best thing, I think, just not having to pay to travel, um, not paying for accommodation, just having the girls and the professionalism behind it was um, really special, well, to me anyway, and I'm sure the other girls felt it as well. And just having all the media and the support and the crowd and being back to back with the men's, it's just, um, it was good for us to realise, you know, that we're actually being noticed now. and. Yeah, there's growth that people can actually come through and watch. Both boys and girls have come through saying that they've watched the games or they like, you know, they like this player or they're inspired by this woman's player. It's incredible by Sammy Traherne. She has got such great wheels. You always know that when she gets the ball in hand that she's going to be able to do something with it. Oh, it was scary. I think I've been, I've turned down a couple of times with the sevens and the fifteens and finally getting it. I think, I don't even think I was expecting it. I think I was so used to, you know, being happy, just kind of building towards it or just trying to get there. When I actually got the phone call, I didn't know what to think or what to say. It took me a while to kind of click and be like, I'm actually playing for Australia, like everything I've worked for, everything I've trained for and finally here and it's nerve wracking. The first time was so nerve wracking, but um, yeah, you kind of get more confidence as you go on. And yeah, this time around, it's, you've got to clear ahead and know what to expect, so. I'm still shocked every time I get selected. I still, you know, I still think, you know, there's always someone better, there's always someone that could be in my spot, so just to get the phone call again, it's a huge honour and um, yeah, it's going to work hard for it. It was a new year for different training styles and different coaches and different teams and 2021 is looking like it's exciting at the moment to see just how it's going to end up. Now they've got numbers, have the Australians, nice pass, Trehearn picks up a double! Is that the try that secures the victory for the Australians?